Preliminary coalition talks have begun in Germany after parliamentary elections on Sunday. Two smaller parties, the Greens and the market-friendly FDP, met late on Tuesday. Annalena Baerbock of the Greens posted this photo to Instagram last night. She said the two parties were already focusing on finding common ground. It's likely they will both enter government as kingmakers, but it's not yet clear which of the bigger parties they will team up with. Olaf Scholz from the Social Democrats says he has a mandate to govern after his party's narrow victory. He hopes to begin talks this week, but the leader of the Conservatives, Armin Laschet, insists he also will try to form a government. Our political correspondent, Julia Saudelli, joins us now for more on this. Julia, the kingmakers in this election, the Greens and the FDP, uh, they started to sound each other out. What can we expect from these talks? Yeah, as we've seen from that Instagram photo that all four of um, those politicians posted with a very similar um, text underneath saying they're looking for compromise and building bridges and it seems like uh, they are managing to achieve that. They are in talks right now and are working to find that common ground that is very much needed between these two parties because they do not necessarily have so many points in common. Some issues uh, that could come up could be related to their different approach to tax policy, their different approach to f uh, financial policy and uh, debt, uh, to finance, investment, and, and so on. Uh, but there are also some points where they might be able to find things in common. For example, on foreign policy, they both want to be uh, harder on Russia and China. They're both focused on human rights. Also on uh, pushing the digital development of the country. This is a point they're both pushing upon. So it will be very important for these two parties to find agreement to then be able to move on and talk um, to the SPD or to the CDU, possibly. Talking about the CDU, a number of conservatives are now openly accepting their defeat in this election. What's going to happen to their leader, their chancellor candidate, Amin Laschet? Well, it's a big open question at the moment. What is going to happen to Laschet? There is certainly um, not a lot of... Um necessarily support in the party for him at the moment, not only within the CDU, but also within uh, its sister party in Bavaria, the CSU, which is led by Markus Söder. Markus Söder, who uh, was a con uh, contendant with Laschet for the role of chancellor candidate for the Conservative Union. And Laschet, um, sorry, Söder himself has said that he doesn't really see a mandate to form a government right now. And other people uh, within the Conservative uh, Union have said uh, the same. Same. So it's a lot will depend on whether Laschet is able to maintain his standing within the party. Uh, if then uh, the CDU will go into talks with the Greens and the FDP if talks with the Social Democrats end up failing. A lot of people are wondering, Julia, where is Chancellor Merkel? She hasn't said anything since the election. Well, if we think about it, uh, Chancellor Merkel was also quite quiet uh, before the election. She hadn't really gotten involved in the campaign with Amin Laschet until the polls started showing that the CDU wasn't performing very well. And only then did she start going to some campaign events supporting Laschet. Uh, she was present on election night at the CDU uh, headquarters. But uh, now she's going to stay on as chancellor until a new chancellor uh, is uh, found. Um, but we are likely going to see her stay quiet in terms of uh, commenting the election results, also because it's hard to imagine that she's satisfied with how the CDU performed. Chancellor Merkel settling into her role as caretaker chancellor. Julia, thank you very much. Julia Sadali, our cor political correspondent there.